Hi guys, um, I might be a little low energy on this video. I got in a little four person car accident and I'm okay, but I noticed that my energy is not quite as bright as usual today, but that does not stop me from saying thank you so much to my patrons. Because of my patrons, you guys help me bring more art videos just for you. And there is a link to the PayPal in the description box where small donations are welcome. Thank you so much. All right, you guys, let's talk about these pillow cells, okay? Remember last video I showed you this beautiful painting with those puffy cells? I wanted to show you the dried results. Look how pretty they are still, very uh, translucent and very shimmery still. These are just real pictures unedited so you can really see how pretty. So I tried a second time using the same paints, meaning the same paints in the same cups. I didn't mix a new batch or anything and um, I had just covered them up. So then I tried a second time and I was just messing around to see if I could do it and yes, I got the same beautiful results. See how that's translucent at the bottom there? That's what gives that pillow look the um, translucent quality especially around the edges and at the bottom so I got so many people privately messaging me and asking me for a video on this technique and of course I'm gonna show you um, that is what I do on this channel is teaching but I also think it's important to say man <laughs> people were asking me it's only been a few days and people were pretty much some people were even being rude asking for the technique and I just I'm working on getting it perfect you know I'm still just a human um, so here's the dried results for this painting and see it they it looks pretty so I feel pretty confident I can repeat it and get the same results um, so I try mixing up the paint in the same way. Now, you guys, just before we get any further, these paintings, um, I'm going to have this one and um, the other one that I make today will be in my live auction December 1st at 4 p.m. West Coast time. And uh, the live auction will have these paintings as well as the other, that you, some others that you have not seen. And... Um, I'm gonna keep it kind of a fun surprise and I hope to see you guys there um, so we can talk about this one so this little painting here I decided to just do a test because um, I wasn't sure I think I felt like I had just stumbled onto that technique and so I put down a silver uh, bait actually this is not a silver base it's a pearl base coat and then these are just golden paints and I just uh, made them a little thin so I could do a swipe and I'm just trying to repeat the same thing that you just saw so I can get the same results basically and so I layer the colors on there and I do the swipe I use a paper towel um, that has a damp edge to it and I'm pretty happy with the pretty colors that are coming up in this swipe. So then I take um, gold uh, paint and I apply it to the top like I did for the last one. And I'm thinking, okay, this is looking pretty good. And so I pop the little air bubbles with my torch. And I tilt, I want to get those uh, pillow cells bigger so I start tilting and right away I notice see how they're all misshapen and not turning round um, so immediately I notice that there's something different that's not the same and I'm not sure why it's not working um, I do see some of the translucency at the bottom and in <laughs> going back and forth it seems like I messed up the cells on the bottom so I'll take my little paper towel and I try to get some of those cells again and it just it's like they were done <laughs> they didn't want to make any more cells so now I just have these streaks and the ugly top 
and the pillow cells are not forming and I do not know why. So I guess I say all this to say I'm just a human being and I am an experimental artist and I'm always trying new things. And if I haven't shared a technique with you, it's because I haven't perfected it enough that I feel I can recreate it over and over again. Um, and why teach something until you're ready to teach it? But so many people asked, I thought, you know what, I'm going to show them my experiments <laughs> because then you can really see and understand um, that I'm, I am in my studio trying these things and scraping off golden fluids and, um, you know, just basically trying to figure this out for you guys and for myself. So, um, I decide, well, maybe I could save this somehow by just, it could just be like a pretty little abstract or whatever. And I, so I run most of it off and then I'm just staring at it. And truthfully, I just don't feel excited at all by the way this looks so so what this means for me is I am going to scrape it off because I can reuse the canvas for those of you just oh man some people just throw a canvas away don't do that <laughs> you can just scrape off the paint it's better to um, waste a little paint and pouring medium than it is to scrap a whole canvas so so okay I that's me getting the camera to focus on the um, little canvas. So I flood the canvas with a base coat, very thin, of pearl. This is not golden pearl, actually, I lied. It is, I think, the Sargent's um, iridescent pouring medium um, mixed with Floetrol. It's just like, I, it's in a bottle pre-mix that I already had, so I decided to use that and see if it would work. Um, so I f make it, I added a little bit of water to make it thin, and then I just start doing the swipe colors again. And, you know, um, one of the reasons I tilt it side to side is to get the colors to kind of blend a little bit, the seams to blend a little bit but also to tilt off any extra paint because this is a tiny canvas and apparently I have a heavy hand <laughs> when applying these um, paints because I keep thinking, oh, I want this color and I want that color and I want this color. But you know, that might work if it was like a 16 by 20, but this is like an eight by 10 tiny little canvas. So, but this is what I use when I'm doing tests, you guys. I don't use the giant canvases usually. I'll use, this is what I keep my little 8x10s around for, is to do these little tests. So I put the black on the top and then tilt the extra off again. And then I, I'm going to use the same method as I did before. So you don't want to try to change too many things when you're testing um, a new technique. You want to try to keep a lot of things the same. So. I use a paper towel and with the edge wet just like I did before. So I'm pretty happy in this moment with the cells that are popping up. They're very pretty and um, I'm definitely enjoying what I'm seeing right here. So now I decide in the spirit of going back to what I know, I'm going to try the copper again because I did gold last time. So I'm, um, and I wanted to use, uh, I didn't, the plan was not to just put a line across the top, but I wanted to put more dots because those, the dots make the, the cells, the, the separation of the cells. So I'm thinking, okay, this is going to work out because I can already see some of that forming, um, in a way that it wasn't the last time. So I'm feeling pretty confident and I like the colors and I'm feeling pretty good. This time I decide to tilt a lot slower. I put a lot less um, paint on the canvas um, for the swipe and I made sure that a lot of the extra uh, swipe color was dumped off which I felt was part of the issue the last time. And then I just add more of the copper paint on the top and I tilt and I can see um, 
some of the pretty effects. One thing I want to point out, you guys, is um, I've never used golden white before because I think it's too expensive. But look how pretty it's peeking out over there on the right. Um, look how ethereal and ghostly it looks. I love that. And so I might be a golden fluid um, white convert <laughs> because I'm absolutely loving the way that that looks right there. So one thing I did, I noted, is that I took the darker color um, paint and some of the paint that was part of the swipe and I ran it up through the bottom of the cells. This provides a delineation of the cells and it helps define them. Composition wise, I you know add white to where I see white coming out to just draw the eye there. It really helps when your eye has a place to rest on a um, piece of art. And so that's the place that your eye will go naturally to that light part over there on the right. The white that I love. So I'm feeling, you know, pretty good about this. And I feel like this is all going to work out. So I'm getting some of that translucency and I know it'll just pretty much get more as it dries. So I continue to just, just futz about with it basically and then I decide I'm going to take my pictures. So I'm fairly happy with the way it looks. I love the cells, although I notice they're much larger than they were even when I quit painting. So I'm a little curious as to why that is happening, but I decide it's all good. It should all be good. And then 30 minutes later, I went to check on the painting and this is what it looked like. <laughs> so, oh, you guys, <laughs> all I can say is this, you know, when someone's paying you for a painting, they're not just paying you for the materials and the cost of the canvas, which is what a lot of you calculate. They're paying you for your expertise and part of your expertise is, man, <laughs> trials and errors, making mistakes, learning your paints, trying to understand how everything works, making something beautiful. In this case, I, you know, I do spend a little bit of time trying to see if I can save this somehow because I, you know, I want to see because you know me, I'm the ultimate paint saver and so I did some balloon rolls on there and at first I was like, oh, that's going to be good. But, you know, just like the other um, painting, when I went back after a time, the, the paint was just losing all of its definition for the balloon rolls. And yeah, so overall it was just not working out and I had to kind of accept it this is not working out. So that's what happened with this one. And then I move forward. <laughs> so here's me moving forward. At this point, I'm tired and I'm kind of irritated and I really don't care. So I just dumped over the top. I didn't even bother scraping it or anything. I just start dumping the paint on, um, not really thinking too much about colors. Uh, color schemes, anything like that. I realized that I have, uh, at this point, I feel like I'm just going to experiment um, without caring whatsoever about the outcome. And sometimes that's a good way to do it because you need to just abandon your ideas of, you know, what you want something to be. Um, so now I'm just like, okay, let's just figure out what is working, what is not working, why, you know, just try to move forward basically so I put my black paint on the top that's my swipe color and this time I don't um, use water on my paper towel this time I decide to use a dry paper towel because I'm tired and I'm being lazy for one thing and also I feel like it was just maybe adding a little bit of water to the already thin paints and maybe that's why I was having trouble with the pattern staying. So 
I'm like, oh, those pretty cells are developing and that's kind of cool. So I'm pretty happy as I'm watching them grow. And then I go back and this time I'm, I make a lot more dots um, than I did the last time. And so I'm definitely, and then I have that one spot up there. I'm going to have to cover it up. So I know, you know, that is one thing. I had to put quite a few dots up there to cover that up. And when I tilted, I distorted the cells. So I went ahead and swiped again. You know, I don't care right now if this turns out. <laughs> so I'm not too worried. I'm just basically trying to figure this out. So I swipe again and already I'm starting to see the translucence and the cells that I'm going for. It's happening right away. So you guys, what I understand and what I learned from this whole project was it's not just the top uh, layer of paint that is causing this reaction. It's the bottom layer too. It's the way you tilt it. It's the colors that you put underneath it. Um, it's not just the copper. It's not a certain kind of um, you know, it's not, there's nothing special except for the application. So I'm going to continue to test these pillow cells and perfect them for you. And when I do, I'm going to give you exact um, recipes for everything. But I just wanted to share the journey with you and let you know that I am working hard to come up with new techniques to share with all of you. So thank you so much for watching. Please attend my live auction December 1st at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you don't know how to attend an auction or what to do, it's really easy. You just come to my channel. There'll be a video that says live auction happening on December 1st at 4 p.m and you can bid. Now buyers um, are responsible for shipping and so I'm not doing um, overseas shipping at this time. Canada is okay, but you know, it is expensive. So um, anyway, I'll see you guys there. Look forward to it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of your support and I can't wait to make more art videos for you please like, comment, subscribe, and as always, have a beautiful day.